hello all so in this tutorial i will show you how to measure the common mode rejection ratio or cmrr of an operation amplifier so cmrr is the ability of an ota to reject noise that means typically it should be as high as possible so in this test bench here i am showing you uh, open loop gain setup and then a common mode gain step the reason being because when we want to measure the CMRR it is the ratio of the open loop gain to the common mode gain okay so let's go to the ADL so to measure the CMRR we'll do again the AC analysis, but let's first define the stimuli. So I will give the same stimuli which I had defined in the previous tutorial. One eighty. and ground with you sorry power supply with you 1.8 volt so this checking again okay everything's fine now i define the stimuli uh, let's do the ac analysis again so 10 to 10 g let's keep it automatic here for now and okay so i will simulate this so the log file i'll check any error there no no error now let's define this mathematical expression in the calculator so i go to tools calculator and uh, here off so i'll take the one by one the gain of the open loop next so output then go back here the input and divide it okay and just enter it keep it here then go again off take the common mode gain now okay and i divide it now i again divide it so here this is the output here you can see this is the open loop gain the first expression in the numerator and then in the denominator i have the common mode gain and I go here, I take the 20 log and if I see it in table, I can see it also here. So I have around 100 dB common mode rejection ratio CMRR or if I want to plot it also, I can go here. So this is my CMRR. So let's send it to the ADL window for future use and there is another very important parameter when we want to see the CMRR of an operational amplifier. So the CMRR also provides a corresponding output offset voltage error which is more in the non-inverting configuration which I am showing here also. In the inverting configuration it's not much because it's almost zero because uh, both the inputs are virtually at ground. So this we find out by the formula to find out this uh, output offset voltage error is uh, I go again to the calculator here. So it's the input voltage, the common mode input voltage divided by the CMR. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here again. Uh, I'll enter it, keep it here, then off VF, and I select the common mode input voltage, and then I okay, it should be the other way. Uh, okay, let me copy it like this, and I will 
divided. So basically, the input common mode voltage divided with the CMRR. Okay, and uh, I'll plot this also. See, so you can see here it's almost around yeah some 10 nano volt. So I will just close it here and I send this to also to the ADL window. So I close this and I go here. I give some names. So let's say this is my CMRR and okay. This is CMRR apply and then this is offset voltage error for CMRR okay okay so I'll just press ok here and I will simulate it again So you can see here, uh, this is the CMRR and this is the offset error voltage due to the CMRR and also if I want to, for example, here again plot the open loop gain. So I can simply go here if you remember AC gain. So I just select the output. This is the open loop gain. Okay, so I will send this to ADL. I close this and now let's go to the common mode also. Let's see again, this and this. So I send this to ADL, ADL. Okay, now let me give the names here. Uh, I will give the open loop again and then this is the common mode again. So if I run it again here, so I should see now the CMRR. So I will split it here and just press V so the red one is the CMRR, then you have the open loop gain, and then you have the common mode gain, and then the offset voltage error. Okay, so this is all you do it uh, for the CMRR calculation in an OTA. Thank you.